Okay? Okay? All good, yeah. All right. All right, well, uh, today we've got another special guest. We've got a young man named Tom who entered the church this past Easter. So I've invited him to come down and share a little bit of his story and what led him uh, into the Catholic Church. Good to see you, Tom. Good to be here. My pleasure. So I want you to say a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so um, my background with church, I, I grew up at a, in a Pentecostal church, um, which was great. I'm really grateful for um, that background. And uh, I grew up reading a lot of scripture, uh, grew up around the church, but kind of just kind of went through the motions a little bit until I was about 17, 18, 19, and I, I just kind of um, discovered Jesus, just reading like John's Gospel, and just got kind of captivated by Jesus as, as a figure, and um, just the, the radical call to discipleship and, and this way of life that was opened up in, in Jesus' death and, um, and the cross. And so um, I just decided to kind of take my faith more seriously and um, decided I'd, I wanted to study theology. And so I ended up at, at Notre Dame and that's kind of my story. Yeah. All right. So mm. at Notre Dame is when you kind of came onto to my radar. You popped yep. in to see yep. my, my friend Tom Goulet at the chaplaincy and he sent you up to, to see me. Yep. Um, say a little bit about what was going on in your life then. Yeah, so yeah, I started at Notre Dame, um, just really getting into theology, and I didn't really know much about Catholicism, um, wasn't too familiar with it, but I just kind of thought, oh, it's, it's pretty cool, uh, there's a couple of like little weird things, but um, just in my encounters with different seminarians and different um, Catholics that were living this life that was, you know, very different um, to what I was used to, and something that was very different to um, just the secular culture, and so that kind of got me interested. At about this time, I, I felt like I was kind of hitting a bit of a, a dry spot, um, bit of, hit a bit of a wall, um, and just in my faith. And, and at the, about that time, I was catching up with uh, a lot of Lutherans at a, at a, a Lutheran uh, young adults youth group kind of thing. Um, and we were just kind of, of chatting through a lot of the same stuff. Um, and about the same time, we, we started kind of exploring Eastern Orthodoxy and and uh, the Catholic Church and just trying out these different uh, traditions and, and getting into the church fathers and that kind of thing. Um, and it just kind of opened up um, a lot of possibilities and opened up a lot of doors um, that kind of led me to, to understand that there's a lot more to the faith than just my personal relationship with God and my um, personal reading of the Bible. And, and it was kind of like discovering this, this vast ocean uh, of tradition and these sources that we could draw upon. So it was very exciting. And um, at that point, it was kind of like, do I want to be kind of on the side of this tradition, just kind of spectating and kind of picking from it what I want? Or do I want to just kind of fully immerse myself in it um, and be a part of this story um, that is so much bigger than me? And, and I think there was something about just knowing that there are people that have um, dealt with the same paradoxes and mysteries and, and struggles that I have. And, and there's such a, um, a deep history that you can draw upon um, with the Catholic Church. And it was something that I wanted to be a part of. So, Okay, well, given that we're having this interview, <laughs> you obviously have become Catholic. Yep. And so yep. how is that transition for you? Was, there, was it a gradual thing? Was, did it kind of mm. play out over a long time? Yeah, uh, it was really just, it was really a gradual build up of, of a couple of different factors. Um, one of the biggest ones was just that I had developed a, a passion for Christian unity. Um, that was something that was very important to me. I, I believe, you know, Jesus isn't coming back for, you know, a bride that's just kind of tearing itself apart or is just kind of separated. Um, so that was, you know, a big, big thing for me. Um, and also, I, I just had this experience of just reading John 6 or reading Thomas Aquinas and, and reading um, all these people talk about the Eucharist and, and the significance of the Eucharist um, in Catholicism. And there was something just beautiful um, about the way that they talked about it and something that, that captivated me and, and just visiting the Mass and, and experiencing that. Um, there was something about the, the beauty of it um, that drew me towards Catholicism and, and that was kind of what just smoothed over 
a lot of those doubts and just made me go, okay, I'm going to take this leap of faith um, and just trust that because I, I can see that the Spirit's moving through the church and because I believe that it, it never stopped um, working through the church and working through the teaching of the church, um, I'm just going to, yeah, take this leap of faith, take this jump and just kind of immerse myself in the tradition. Okay, so it's been a few months now since you entered the Catholic Church. How's it been for you? Yeah, well, I've been loving it. I think, I think one of the great things about being on the inside and actually experiencing things as a Catholic is that you see you're just kind of blown away by how imminent and close God is in, in material things. So like the sacramentals, like you have icons and holy water and candles. And then obviously most of all, the fact that there is the real presence in the Eucharist is, is what always just keeps me coming back and always sustains me. You know, it's not for me about you know, how good the preaching is or how good the music is, but every week that, you know, Jesus is there, um, that Jesus is so close. And just the way that, um, I guess, that sacramental worldview has kind of changed the way that I live my life in, in you know, the everyday and the mundane, you know, how can I um, find God in this experience? How can I... Um, see the way that you know God is revealing his grace to me. Well, thanks so much, Tom. It's been a joy to get no to know you over this last little while and to, uh, to see your story and get to know you and some of your friends and uh, uh, look forward to, to what the future holds. And uh, I'm sure something of your story uh, will resonate with our viewers. And for everyone watching this, uh, until next time, be a saint.